Well then, Daryl, welcome to the first ever interview with the Albert Spider Girls right. podcast after the game. I'll hold that for you, guys. Hey, that's so you can mean. tell how new I am at this. What do you think <laughs> of that then? Um, well, when you can, it was bad. Um, From the start? Not necessarily, I don't think. I think we just started alright, but. I think the penalty decision from where I was in the Leeds end was a bit harsh. It looked like it was a bit close to the ball when it was kicked, but I probably proved it wrong when I watch it back later on. Um, I thought we should have had a penalty, because it looked to me like Maguire judo threw Perez to the floor in the second half. Um, there was, for once in this season, Kennedy wasn't the worst player on the pitch. Who was him? Who was the worst player? Good taste in your eyes. Atu. Atu. Yeah. Dagger. Um, aye, Dagger. Um, especially after the comments in the week about rather seeing Atu ahead of Murphy. That pretty much shows to me I think that was probably not the right thing. Um, Do you think there's anything in that Atu was going back to him? Yeah, you could see towards the end of the game he was going out with us, but for us, were you quite surprised well, to see for us off the I was more surprised to see Richie go off. Yeah. yeah. I, um, I thought agree, at yeah. the time it was probably wise to do Atu for Murphy um, and have him and Richie look running up and down for the last part of the game. But Atu looked like he was blown out of his arse a bit sooner yeah. than that. He, like, maybe it's after, even before the hour was up, you could tell he was his movement was getting more and more restricted as the game went on. Um, and because he stayed on, we found that we were losing possession more through him. And he couldn't beat anybody, couldn't get past anybody before the game was out. And then it was up to Kennedy trying to come forward, and he was struggling. So, so um, was there any positives from your side taking that game? From the day, uh, I thought the had a pretty good game. Um, Murphy, when he came on, was bright. I'd love to see Nuto start a game, because I thought when he came on, he was so bright. Some of his movement and some of his play was fantastic. Um, Hoslu, again, Struggled with all the ball at times. Um, but, uh, I think Shelby had a great game as well. I think he was probably the better players on the pitch. It's good to see Shelby back. It is. Um, he controls the ball well and he can spread it around when it needs to be spread. Um, playing a good few balls through as well to, to Richard and that week. So, Magashi was at the game for the first time in the last couple of years. That's the game was part. Right. Do you um, think there was going to be a lot more toxic towards him? You could hear it through the game. Um, I think we're all pretty much stood up at one point. Even people in the director's box were standing up everywhere. We're, 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 we're 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 I'm surprised they came out with better for the second half, to be fair. Um, I thought at the end there'd be more. There wasn't a lot at the end, it was quite yeah. like, muted at the end. A lot of people have left, haven't they? Aye, that's it. And I thought I thought there might have been a bit more of a noise at the end generated in his direction. He was quick to get out of there, though. Yeah. I was watching the box and he was very quick to get out. So, rumours of a takeover. Aye. Will it happen? I'll believe it when I see it. As with everything, yeah. After last year, if it happens, it'll happen. But until then, right. Please. One, one last question about the team itself. Where's for next week? Not next week. <laughs> Definitely not next week. We're going um, next week. So we're, better. we're going to make Man United look good next week. They're not going to have any problems next week against us. Um, after next week, we've got ten games against teams that aren't the traditional top six. I say that because. Watford and Bournemouth are in there at the minute, but in terms of traditional top six sides from like Man City, Chelsea, Arsenal, Man United, Liverpool, Tottenham. After next week, there's ten games where we don't face anybody until we face Liverpool on Boxing Day. So something's got to go in those next ten games after Man United, as far as I'm concerned. But at the minute, the way things are feeling at the minute, I don't think we'll even get a double-digit points from those games. Final question. Tomato sauce in Sunday dinner, yes or no? Absolutely fucking not. No. Thank you very Absolutely much. Not. Thank you, mate. No worries. Thanks very much.